vehicle in front of me is a Club Joker City from Westphalia. It, or Westphalia, if you like. It says there from 60,840. Well, that's a bit of a joke, really, uh, but it costs a great deal more than that. It costs uh, this thing here 85,208. Of course, that means to say that 25,000 extra has been added to it. I think we'll have a look at that on the way back. Um, this is a vehicle which is 489 centimeters in length. So it is really a car. It's got the footprint of a car. From the outside, it looks like a car, but it's got, I rather fancy this, this thing here. I mean, as a car, this would really sort of suit me if I were going back to driving cars. Of course, I wouldn't want uh, the, the uh, part of the 25,000 is for that the gearbox. I'd want a manual gearbox, not want an automatic one. But other than that, there's a lot about this which I really like. And the footprint. Now, you know, my site is about motorhomes, and this, to be quite honest, you know, it is a camper van, but it, it's not really a motorhome, or so, or it isn't a motorhome at all. But, um, you know, for camping purposes, you know, long term it isn't much good, but, 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 uh, you can get this into an underground car park. So if you live in a block of flats, you can, you can park it okay. You can get this into your parking space at work. Uh, you can do all sorts of things. Now, I accept the fact that an extra 85, uh, say 85, I mean, what's one of these vehicles cost to start off with? Uh, well, I don't really know, but the, um, uh, the, the camping bit is certainly, has uh, certainly doubled the price, at least I would have thought, and certainly for 85,000, I mean, you can buy yourself a very nice motorhome, but, but uh, you've got to bear in mind uh, something I always say is horses for courses, what can you do with the weight uh, and the length that you've got? Right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show some of the features that we've got in this van. Start off with there's a tent in the roof. You might want a tent in the roof, but the advantage of having a tent in the roof is that you can stand up inside it. In fact, we might be able to get someone else to stand up inside it and we'll be able to see how well that works. Let's come to the back, the boot if you like. The boot in the boot, there's a camping bit. Um, Maybe it's not really fair to call it a boot. I'm just trying to, just being a bit sarcastic really. Right, you've got here two, uh, two burners. So you can do a spot of cooking. You've got a sink there. Now you've got here a bench. And under this bench, there's a toilet. And the toilet's there. Right next to the toilet, as where you would expect it to be, of course, is the fridge. And uh, on top of the toilet, there's a cushiony thing, so you uh, don't have to sit on the toilet when you're sort of doing other things. You've got there, they've used the space to the maximum right down to the ground for a sort of uh, wardrobe. I did say sort of, but I mean the car where you put your uh, stuff, I mean you have other places there. That's where you could hang it up up front. You can even, if you're in the toilet or in the shower, you can turn the radio on. Shower, did I say? Yes, that is correct. Because under here, under this carpet, there is a shower too. So we'll, um, I'll, I'll lift the carpet up to demonstrate, but I'll do that once I've uh, finished messing around. But there's the, uh, what do you call that? I'm not going for that in English now hose or something that's how you get your water onto your, your shower now um yeah i'll show you the isotherm fridge if i can yeah it's all right got the storage up here oh sorry sort of lady came in i could have filmed her and shown you what the uh height was like in there right now i'm going to show the clever bit and once i've finished opening these drawers down here we have a shower the carpet has been put in for the benefit of this event so to stop people damaging the floor we're gonna to have to sell this a vehicle sooner or later right under the carpet you've got that bit that comes with the van that's a that's a duck board see the duck board right and under here it up, bang, there's your 
there's your shower tray which incidentally goes further down there but um am not going to be able to lift the whole thing up but, so you can actually get yourself give yourself a wash when you're in here now you won't have a huge amount of water but there will be a bit and also wash yourself outside as well should you be so inclined this thing here that's to get your uh, cassette toilet out with and you can fill your watch up by this thing it's locked now as I would expect it to be locked now I think these are a pretty good good idea come back onto this and so we'll have there's your extras okay it's a small gas thing it's the 2.8 kilo uh, gas canister um, um, fresh water is uh, 32 liters only gray water 42 liters height uh, is only two meters width 190 and as i said earlier length is 489 so it's either two or four um sleeping places depending if you've got the uh, to get the got the roof up, up or not right and so there's all of your th there's all the extras and uh i don't really want to sort of read all them out but uh colors one and 1145 oh i can't be bothered either. there they are you can sort of see them what they are club joker camper van car car with a camper facility there you go pretty nice huh let's have a look at another one because there's a club joker also with a high roof so come over here now now the benefits of a high roof are that you can actually stand up inside without having to put the uh, tent in the roof up so let's just uh, demonstrate that now in this case you can see the bed here that's the bed has been uh, put down but that also will go in the other direction I've actually filmed around here quite quickly showing how the the bed uh, works but the rest of it to the back there you can see people are standing up without any problem and that uh, that's very similar to what it was like in the other one this thing here will cost 86,000 so it's more or less the same price as the other one let's go to the base price though 868,000 so uh, even that the base price isn't much different uh, which surprises me because the cost of these uh, roofs is is quite high but then again the cost of the tent and the roof is high so uh, uh, in fact these, these roofs are actually cheaper than the than the tent now uh, one difference is that uh, you haven't got the exit here out the back uh, as you have the other one uh, you, but you've got these facilities here including something akin to a garage there and down there there's your uh, cassette tank uh, right so uh, West Philly does have other vehicles and along a similar mode such as uh, this one here you can see also shower and the uh, toilet in the back that's the Kepler one and in this Jules Verne there's also a similar layout in the back this one as you can see is on a Mercedes this thing here costs 69,550 there you go that's probably even a better one to buy actually price wise tent in the roof Although personally, I prefer the uh, <laughs> the high roof, such as in the Nugget. Okay, uh, good. So there's the Club Joker City. Yeah, I'll just show you one or two of the vans. We'll have a little walk around the stand uh, and before before closing it. This thing here is pretty good. With the James Cook, mind you, costs a fortune. <laughs> Right, good, so back to the uh, Westphalia Club Joker. And so if you found that of interest, please do subscribe. That would be very nice. Uh, that does help me out. Um, also, if you get any benefit from what I do, please do consider 
supporting me on Patreon and uh, I hope to be able to, those who are interested incidentally in buying vans we uh, a number of us sort of got together uh, and um, we may be able to offer uh, better prices than people can get through dealers but uh, I think stands not with West Failure yet anyway uh, thanks very much I'll do something more on that in, there in due course thanks very much for watching and it's me signing out in Stuttgart